Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good evening. My name is Muhammad Nabil Farhan bin Sharifuddin. My metric number is CE21162. Ah, uh, today I will present the video about the contribution among group members. So, my group member is Mom Anabel, me and Nick, Mom Afiq and Mom Azhad, so Afif Najmi. So, for me, I will give an idea for the project to be made. I am also help Nick to the uh, proposal and report progress of the project. So Nick also assist me for the idea of the project and will plan the content of the project report. So uh <laughs> sorry. After the after the proceed the idea, after we get the idea, we proceed the idea about project and Azhab will do the design design the circuit in software practice also run the simulation the one we the one will assist azad is najmi najmi will help azad in design circuit and run simulation in the software practice also Naj also najmi also will inform us to make a discussion among group member about the project idea project and also najmi will help each other stars for example najmi will help me for the giving idea project also help Nick to the plan the content in the project report and help us had in doing the design circuit in the software process okay ah I forgot to mention we are from group 3 so for the minute of meeting group 3 in the logbook uh, first meeting we meet at uh, 20 20 October we use uh, Google Meet and for the first meet, uh, our discussion about the project and proposal, uh, so we divide tasks for each other. Uh, for the second meeting, we use the same link, we use the Google Meet and the same link, and we meet at the 20, 24, 24 October. For the second meeting, we discuss together and finding the appropriate circuit about our project. After we find the after we found the appropriate circuit about project, Azad will start. Azad will start do the design the simulation and design the circuit and run the simulation in practice. So first, after that, we identify the problem statement in our project. Also, make objective after found a problem statement. For the third meeting, we meet at a. Uh, we made at a same Google Meet, same Google Meet link. Uh, we made at a five November for the third meeting. We finding suitable article regarding about our project. So, uh, we all will help each other about summary article and literature review. We also try to make a circuit by using Proteus so software, but we don't finish it yet. For the fifth meeting, for the fourth, fourth meeting we meet at the we meet at a discord uh, at 18 December in the meeting we proceed to make a full project report divide tasks among group members so we discuss each task among group member when we don't understand about our task so in the fourth meeting so we change the all circuit to a new appropriate circuit because uh, we don't find the suitable electronic part in the protest for in the all for the all circuit we found. Okay, for the last meeting, five meeting, we will meet at twenty one December. Same Discord, we use Discord and we discuss each other Discord about progress project report. We also make some improvement for each part in the project. After we settle the project report, we help each other. We help we all we help Azhar in the process to design circuit in the software process. Okay, that's all from me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Azhar Fazi bin Jasmani. My metric number is CE200138. Uh, we are from group three. Uh, today, I want to show you about circuit diagram. Firstly, uh, our 
circuit diagram is we are using diode uh, one and three one nine one and we <clears throat> we use five resistor for the first resistor is 200 kilo ohm second is 200 kilo ohm and third is 100 ohm uh, fourth is 100 kilo ohm and lastly is 100 ohm all right uh, we are using a resistor variable and the value is 20 ohm and <clears throat> and we are using one capacitor and two amplifier uh, for the first is 3521l and 3292 <clears throat> All right, uh, as shown in the diagram given, EMF protector or neutralizer circuit that configuration which is capable of emitting different level of low frequency EMF in the surrounding in a random manner. This circuit likely to interact with this existing of EMF or EMR producing a cancelling or neutralizing Naturalizing effect. This circuit can apply into chip that avoid EMR. This chip can be as on mobile phone, Wi-Fi router, and modems, and electronic device that em emit EMR. All right. And this is our example for the uh, of anti radiation chip. All right. For the simulation, we are using Proteus for create uh, the simulation. Simulation, all right. As you can see, uh, this slide uh, we have diode, uh, two amplifier, uh, five resistor, one capacitor, and one uh, resistor variable. <clears throat> all right, we are run. All right, uh, as you can see, if V out 0 0.0184912. All right, uh, if now we create the uh, graph using analog and we choose the V out and we get simulate graph. All right. Uh, as you can see, this graph uh, is straight line. The output be out there. Uh, first two. The next is uh, eighteen point zero meter. <clears throat> all right. That's all from me. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Afif Najmi Ben Haizol, CE 200106. So uh, I will continue to present about the notebook project. So uh, untuk pengetahuan uh, notebook project kami, kami simpulkan menjadi sa dalam satu file yang mana hampir ke ahli kumpulan kami hampir sama uh, the our progress on notebook. So I will present. Uh, the notebook project uh, for my groups so on 24 October we discuss with group member about our project and also about our proposal and then of finding the appropriate circuit about our project so this is a link for reference uh, to search uh, circuit and then this is a, a circuit uh, to use or uh, like a reference for project and then identify project statement of MR uh, make our objective project of the problem statement generate on 27 October discuss with group members in the WhatsApp group and find important points to make a proposal 
and then uh, writing the sub article about EMR effect on human body and list down some important note so this is a link uh, we research about the effect EMR on human body and then uh, make uh, an introduction in our proposal based on important point about relation and EMR so on uh, 5 November I uh, prepare the progress of our proposal all of important notes that I list down uh, used to make an introduction a problem statement scope project and others and then uh, for, uh, on uh, 7 this, uh, November make a final check progress of proposal and then fix the correction in proposal and submit the progress of proposal before 3 p.m. by email to Dr. Uh, Yusuf and then uh, on uh, 18 uh, December we proceed to make a full project report and then divide tasks among group member discuss each task among group member and change the old circuit to new appropriate circuit so this is a link uh, to reference the new circuits so uh, this circuit uh, we not uh, use uh, as a reference and then uh, on 21 uh, December discuss with group member in discord about uh, project uh, report so for information uh, discord is uh, apps uh, like uh, Google meet same Google meet uh, we meet and discuss on uh, uh, apps this app and then make some improvement for each part in the project report and help uh, members in produce to design the circuit in software produce so on 27 uh, December after completing project report discussion group member were made to meet, make a video presentation about project by using Google Meet uh, and lastly uh, each person present their part in project report while the screen is recorded to make a video presentation so uh, ini adalah keseluruhan uh, kami jadikan satu plan sebagai uh, untuk progress notebook project for my group that's all from me thank you Assalamualaikum my name is Nima Muafiq bin Baharudin my matrix number is CE200021 I will present the summary of article the first summary of article 1 is by Ismayadi Ismail uh, in 2011 a state in the article pencemaran gelombang elektromagnetik dan kaedah mengatasinya. The wave interference has had uh, negative effects on radio communication since the beginning both international intentionally and unintentionally. Wave interference must be addressed in order to to improve uh, robot, robot robustness of effective communication. The International Electrotechnical Commission (IEC) and CISPR organized a meeting in Paris in 1993 to discuss solution. Cell phones and similar devices have been outlawed by authority, authoritative agencies such as the Federal Aviation Administration. Use of mobile phones is alleged to interfere with cockpit navigation system technology. Tests have been conducted to detect any risk that may develop as a result of cell phones used while flying. In an inadequate electromagnetic shielding cause inter interference with the flight computer system, resulting in system control failure. Mobile phone use in hospitals is prohibited, just as it is prohibited on planes. EMI signal can enter and easy electronic systems into waste through conductivity along lines and cables and through radiation through open space like air. Electronic equipment that operates at certain frequencies is increasingly being used resulting in interference signals that can be up to 10 times the de device frequency. 
broadband frequency, low Q factor, and high impedance are all requirements for ferrite EMI suppressors. Ferrite is a magnetic material that is commonly used in permanent magnets, transformers, inductors, and other electronic applications. Then, for the summary of, of Article 2 by Jacek Jaworski, 2015, state in the article entitled The Influences of Electromagnetic Pollution on Living Organisms. That the available literature and related to the influence of electromagnetic fields and electromagnetic radiation on living organ organism has led to the following critical conclusion, which are based on the analysis of the evidence available at the time of publication of this article. There are substantial gaps in the present knowledge about the influence of electromagnetic pollution on living organ organisms, especially in the case of experimental investigation conducted on animals. The vi viable literature provides scattered and ambiguous information about the safety of electromagnetic fields and electromagnetic radiation for human and animal health. Scientific research on the influence of electromagnetic pollution on living organisms is very popular. One of the key problems is this kind of research is the elimination of secondary radiation source. It should be noted that all the relevant model organism possess certain features useful in order to conduct biological research. The results cannot be regarded full and cannot be projected onto human due the, to the limited frequency spectrum investigated as well as the intensities of electromagnetic field source. It is possible to formulate any connection between electromagnetic fields, features and field influence. Despite the paucity of actual data, several intriguing concepts about how ele electromagnetic fields affect the pineal gland have been offered in the literature. These statements are yet unsubstantiated and need to be verified scientifically. Then the summary artic of Article 3 by Sumana Bata Charji. 2014, according to the article's title, Protective Measure to Minimize the Electromagnetic Radiation, that the that electric fields and magnetic fields are created when electric current flows, the higher the voltage, the stronger the re resultant field. An electric field is a field of force associated with a moving electric charge equivalent to an electric charge. Electromagnetic fields, EMF, are commonly found around high voltage line from the system that protect residents from lightning and electrical appliance. The safest approach to check on a cell phone is use speakerphone mode and keep the phone at arm length within 3 to 4 feet. The main electrical and circuit breaker panel emits significant EMF. Most laptops are not grounded even when working off plug-in power. Different types of shielding fabrics are available in the market to protect us from the effects of electromagnetic fields and radiation. High-tech and industrial conductive fabrics are used for wall covering, gasket, grounding, and liners. Magnetic fields, magnetic shielding foil is used to shield delicate electronic component from, from EMFs. All frequency electromagnetic radiation is one of the most common and fastest growing envi environmental impact. All people are now exposed to varied quantities of radiation and as technology progresses, the level will continue to arise. It's becoming more difficult to dismiss the growing number of cases involving negative health repercussion. Then uh, the summary of Article 4 by Ibrahim Fayyad. 2015, uh, according to the title of the articles, 
electromagnetic radiation and its effect on human beings. The type of radiation absorbed, ionizing or non-ionizing determines the adverse health effects. The amount of EMF dose absorbed by the human body is a critical consideration. Maximum exposure levels are recommended in terms of electric and magnetic fields, strength and power density. The effect of long-term exposure to EMF on human profile is studied in. The conclusion revealed that high EMR affects on P23 adrenal assist. Also, long-term interval time during sleeping under the influence of GSM 1800 electromagnetic far field and biomedical effects was studied. Research on RF, EMF, and CL is limited and thus no firm conclusions can be drawn. The development of CL is likely to be a multi heat process in which EMF might play a role uh, 1.4 to 1.7 fold increase risk for exposure level above 0 0.3 micro T found in poll analysis. There is no proof that mobile base station electromagnetic radiation has no effect on humans. And the EMF ambiguity problem continues to persist. As a result, various precautions must be taken to ensure that humans exposed to EMF for the extent period are safe. The closest humanly possible distance from the radiation source is 6 meters. Measurements of the power spectrum density radiated by mobile base station on a regular basis to depict the power spectral densities and analytical mode model will be assigned as a future study. And the last summary of articles uh, by Garima Macha in 2019 as indicated by the article titles Study of Electromagnetic Radiation Effects on Human Body and Reduction Techniques. When a human body comes into contact with EM radiation, it absorbs it since the human body is 70% liquid. Because EMR energy crumbles over such a small distance, the SAR in the skin layer diminishes. diminishes. The major component of engrossment, the EM radiation in the body are higher molecular substance, water molecules, and proteins. The global system for mobile uh, GSM, 3G, and 4G network operate in the 900 and 2600 MHz frequency range for mobile telephony. According to 2011 report by the WHO International Agency for Research on Cancer, electromagnetic radiation EMR is possibly carcinogenic to people. Adverse health impacts of electromagnetic radiation released by mobile phones are fast increasing. There is direct link between transmit power and specific absorption rate and vulnerability to electromagnetic radiation. There are various approaches for lowering the specific absorption rate or transmit power of mobile communication system. The quantity of EMR vulnerability to a handset user is determined by the phone's technology. The distance between the user and the antenna and the duration of the call or use of the phone. There is a slight change that EMR from mobile phones may be carcinogenic. That's all from me. Thank you.